So here are the black oak LED lights that will be going in the road armor bumpers. These will be on the inside portion of the rear bumper. These will be on the outside portion of the rear bumper. And then I already have the black oaks that will be going in the front. But they are built very well. They all come with a wiring harness wired with a relay, stainless steel hardware, and a waterproof Deutsch connector. Plus Black Oak only uses top tier Cree LEDs, so they actually pay extra to get the better Cree LEDs than a lot of people do. Completely sealed, IP69K rated. And they are fully mil spec. So if you've been watching my channel for about nine months or so, you'll know that I upgraded from the factory pin box, which was on my fifth wheel, to the Reese Goose Box setup. This specific pin box gives me the ability, again, to eliminate the fifth wheel hitch from the bed of my truck and simply connect this to the goose ball assembly. So first things first, if you're wondering what the solar panel here is for, this actually charges the house battery. It's made by Duravolt and it magnetically attaches to the pin box assembly or the goose box assembly in my case. And it provides a trickle charge at about 10 watts to the battery and just keeps it topped off when it's in the sun, which it currently is not at the moment. That being said, the biggest problem I've had with this goose box assembly is securing it. The fact that until now there's been no way to lock this system so a thief couldn't just simply back up to it with their goose ball and drive off with my RV. Now I have a solution for that. Let's see what it is. So you are looking at a brand new locking assembly from Fort Knox Locks. This is a really, really cool and innovative way to lock up and protect your goose box assembly if you have one. Now. This thing is constructed of very thick steel, and it's all plate steel that's been welded together. Every piece of it is very well welded, and this thing is just one heck of a theft deterrent. It has a puck lock that's currently on it, and the way this system works is you remove the puck lock, you have a hinge back here, you open the hinge up, you kind of clamp it around the bottom of your goose box assembly, replace the puck lock right here, and Good luck to anybody who's going to try to steal your fifth wheel. This thing is incredibly heavy duty. It appears to be 3 16 inch plate steel. And again, everywhere is welded very well. You can't knock the pins out of the hinge because it's welded. It's welded all around the sides, top and bottom, and has a really nice bright yellow powder coat to it to really act as a visual theft deterrent as well. Plus, this puck system that they have, this locking system, has a very, very complex and hard to tamper with locking mechanism. Now this assembly without the puck lock is about $200. I think they run some sales and it gives you a little bit off of that. But this is a $200 setup, which in my opinion, for how it's constructed, is well worth it. The puck lock ranges anywhere from about $30 up to about $90, depending on the quality of the puck lock that you include. If you want to get a higher end one like this system, you're naturally going to pay a little bit more, but you're going to get a much, much harder and more complex locking system to pick. So this type of locking mechanism is virtually impossible to pick by an amateur. And more importantly, it's just a high quality locking mechanism in general. You can pay for a lower end one. I believe they have the Trimax system for about $30. And a system like this is going to run all the way up to about $90. And they're going to look pretty much the same from the outside. The biggest difference is this one is not going to corrode. And it's going to have a much, much better locking mechanism with it as well. So let's go ahead and unlock this system. Pull the lock off. Open up the jaws. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is release your locking mechanism. So now it is locked over here, but the cable is released. Next, we're gonna place the lock around the bottom like this, and it's gonna clamp around this lower portion. So there's no way to actually access the coupler to put it on the goose ball. Then you'll put your lock over it, slide it in, pull your key out, And that thing's not going anywhere. Again, this is an encasement system, so it completely encases the bottom of your goose box to prevent it from being accessed. It's got a really good quality lock on it. This is an area that you don't want to skimp if you are concerned about someone potentially picking your lock. 
because this is a far more complex style locking mechanism than you're going to get with most systems. So the price of this system, again, roughly $200 for this setup here, roughly $90 for this specific lock, but they go as low as $30 if you just want a cheaper one. This, in my opinion, is probably the key to the whole thing, because if you get this piece off, well, then your entire lock's compromised. So the key here is, is that you really spend what you need to spend to get a system like this if theft is a concern for you, if you're worried that somebody could potentially hitch up to your goose box and drive off with it. Again, the construction of this assembly is just top notch. And there's no way to access your goose box if you have this on it. And what's really cool, and I didn't notice until I just came out here to put this lock on my fifth wheel, is that my neighbor also has a Fort Knox lock on his Anderson hitch. So that is really cool. Went with the same type of puck locking system and now he can protect his Anderson hitch as well. It completely covers everything that you would need to remove this assembly also, so you don't have to worry about somebody just removing it and driving off. Very cool. We got two Fort Knox locks right next to each other. Bright yellow, definitely a visual deterrent. Anyways guys, I will put a link in the description of this video to Fort Knox Locks if you're interested in their product. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.